Maraming salamat po for the introduction. Thank you so much uh, for the warm invitation that I have received. It's an honor to be a part of your first general membership meeting of your chapter this evening, the 22nd of August 2020, through recorded message. Officers and members of the UAP Baraswain chapter, advisors, past chapter presidents, past board officers, the district director of A2A, architect C. Dumlao, the chapter board officers headed by chapter president, Archit architect Bienvenido F. Clavio Jr. To our friends and partners in the industry, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, isang maganda at ligtas na gabi po sa inyo lahat, mga minamahal kong kapwa arkitekto. Your chapter general membership meeting is an occasion at this place and time as we work out our new dreams, new approaches for the greatness of our beloved organization. It is therefore my honor and privilege to be able to address you this evening, and I offer you all my sincere congratulations on your success to be of service to our organization, contribute to what is best for the profession, to serve our members and our organization. Yes, there may be a lot of struggles with the global effect of this coronavirus disease 2019 pandemic. And despite our physical separation, the unity of the UAP family grew ever stronger through a complex coordination of teamwork, from our virtual communication to the online transactions. I could not be prouder of the strength and resilience exhibited by our community, of course with the guidance of our elders, college of fellows, mentors, most especially from our divine architect, our Lord Jesus Christ. From the CSR activities I have worked for several years, I've learned that the true definition of resilience is not just the ability to recover from adversity. It is also to become stronger as a result of lessons learned and new bonds formed. The UAP and UAP Barasoin chapter are indeed stronger institutions driven by a renewed vigor to bridge the talents and wisdom of our members. Sabi nga po ni St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, Humility is the mother of all virtues. Purity, charity, and obedience. It is in being humble that our love becomes real, devoted, and ardent. If you are humble, nothing will touch you. Neither praise nor disgrace. Because you know what you are. If you are blamed, you will not be discouraged. Let these inspiring words from one of the most honored servants will be our constant reminder to be humble enough in giving our best effort to deliver noble leadership. Letting our architect members and stakeholders in the industry know that they matter. Not to falter in times of difficulties, but rather uphold good governance in any given circumstances. And to do all of these things with humility and to prioritize the general membership through the member first policy. My fellow architects, in just more than a month, this leadership responded to the changes of our time and extended a fair chance and opportunity for our members across the nation in this era of new normal. Your UAP National offered a free Zoom hosting to all districts and chapters for their induction program and membership meetings. We offered a free of charge for the use of meeting and function rooms at the UAP National Headquarters. Last Saturday, during our second NBD meeting, we unanimously approved the extension of the payment for our annual national membership dues and annual chapter assessment fee until December 31, 2020 without penalty. I hope you will immediately relay this information to your members as soon as possible time. However, at this point in time, I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere appreciation and gratitude to our chapters and members who have already remitted their respective dues and fees to UAP National in spite of the current situation we are facing. Truly, this is simple yet a meaningful gesture from our chapters and members 
to sustain our operational and financial requirements during this period. For our OFW, the Overseas Filipino Architects, who are going back to our country or who are currently in need of additional financial resources, we are preparing a skills and job matching program. And we will do our very best to link you to our colleagues in the country. This is in order to make full use of your skills and unique competence home to your much valued global practice. This endeavor is through the initiative of our Commission on Governmental and External Affairs, Executive Director Architect Jason Howe. Back home, also during our board meeting last Saturday, we unanimously approved the creation of Member First General Welfare Fund to support the immediate needs of our members, particularly this time of pandemic. In, few weeks from, in, in a few weeks' time, the Commission on Internal Affairs under the leadership of architect Vanessa Lagman Ledesma will finalize the policy benefits for our members. Last July 20, 2020, we renewed our partnership with Nippon Paint Coatings Philippines Inc. for the AYDA, the Asia Young Designers Award 2020, anchored on the theme forward human-centered design which aims to return to the essential needs of humanity, our connections and our provisions for the emotional, social and practical needs of the society. We have continued conversation with our legal counsel to sustain the assertion of our rightful practice of architecture under Member First Trust. Last July 27, we already submitted our memorandum to the Supreme Court in reference to the petition of certiorari we previously filed in the year 2013. We do hope that the facts are on our side. Oh, we do think that the facts are on our side the law is on our side, past decisions are on our side, and we hope the High Court will make the right decision. During the last NBD also, we have approved the comprehensive legislative agenda of the UAP Task Force 9266, headed by our very dedicated past national president, architect Medellano Boy Roldan Jr., a special committee under the office of the national president. This project will ensure our continued effort to assert our rightful practice of architecture. The active participation of each and every chapter in this undertaking through the help of the district directors and area vice presidents will be highly appreciated. Last month, the Office of the Secretary General under the leadership of Dr. Jonathan Manalad initiated a monthly meeting dubbed as Isumo Resecjev with chapter secretaries which aims to talk about various secretariat related issues of your chapter on protocols for submissions, the latest updates from UAP headquarters and many other topics. So I invite you all to join us and participate in this monthly activity. Also, ang opisina po ng ating masipag na Secretary General through its Membership Care Department implemented a no noon break policy so that their services to you will not be interrupted and we can attend to your queries and concerns continuously. Also, we extend our help to our needy brothers and sisters by providing hygiene kits for the patients of San Andres Sports Complex Quarantine Facility. We would like to extend also our appreciation to our UAP officers and members who supported the UAP Bayanihan, the COVID Labanan Call for Donation Program. This effort was recognized by the San Andres Sports Complex Quarantine Facility through their message posted on their official Facebook account. Our fellow architect members have shown to us their confidence in you and me by selecting their leaders to represent them. Be their voice to be heard. Be their vision to be noticed. Be their heart to be felt. I look forward to serving with you all because service is the heart of this leadership. Let us hold on to this encouraging word once again from St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta. I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. 
I desire that your chapter would extend your cooperation to help us implement our plans and programs this fiscal year 2020-2021. I also encourage your chapter to share with us your talents and time in the implementation of the trust we have identified, which includes the following, Global Leadership, which deals with transparency, accountability, honorable service, leadership by example and great sense of social responsibility. Good governance, as we endeavor that no resources being wasted, efficient and competent manpower, a green headquarters, a sound fiscal management, a work-life balance, and adapting to the new norm, and member first policy to guide in leading this organization with a noble heart that offers a sense of importance and moral support through genuine service to our members, provision for tangible benefits, priority to what is good for the general membership, inclusive decision making, and advocating the Get an Architect campaign. We need patience and goodwill, but we really need to realize that there is a limit to the role and the function of the organization. Kaya nga, pagtulungan natin lahat ito, dahil sabi nga ni John Maxwell, Leadership is not about titles, positions, or flowcharts. It is about one life influencing another. To complete our member first policy is the continuation of the promotion of the award-winning Get an Architect Company. Sama-sama po natin ipromote ito dahil atin ito. For the past years, we have seen a tremendous impact of Get an Architect advocacy of our immediate past national president, Architect Benjamin K. Panganiban Jr. And we hope to further strengthen this campaign this fiscal year. My dear colleagues, these three policies will be our core trust in making this administration strong and standing. Therefore, I encourage all the officers and members of the UAP from every section of this country and across the globe to join me, join us in this endeavor. Always we should act together because this direction will serve to measure the best of our abilities, to create a productive fiscal year despite the challenges ahead at alam natin lahat. But while we are going through the, this pandemic, UAP is not backing down. We know our vision and we know how to achieve it. We shall thrive and go through this rough road as one with the guidance of our divine architect, our Lord Jesus Christ, leading us the way. At sa tulo ng ating mauhusay at magigiting na arkitekto mula sa UAP Barasoin chapter, we all look forward to a fruitful year ahead of us. Thank you so much. Please remember to take care of yourselves as well as the welfare and safety of your family. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Mabuhay ang UAP. Mabuhay ang Arkitektong Pilipino. God bless and stay strong. UAP Barasoy Chapter. Maraming salamat po.